So hi everyone. Today we will be talking about how you can create knowledge graphs using LangChain. So basically, knowledge graph is a representation of an unstructured data, maybe into structured one using graph structures like nodes, relationship between them. It has been quite popular in the biology field. Alongside now, it is quite popular because of graph rack coming into the picture and due to graph analytics. I think you must have heard of new 4G that works on graph databases. So in this particular tutorial, we will be analyzing how generative AI can be used for creating knowledge graphs out of text data sets or unstructured data. So for that, you need to first of all pip install a number of libraries. Here you can see that the list of the libraries that I have mentioned: Langchain Experimental, Langchain Community, Langchain Network X, Google Gen AI. If you are using the free API by Google, Langchain Core, JSON Repair. Now. The next step is to import the LLM graph transformer. This is the most important part here, alongside the other requirements, and then set up your LLM. I am setting up the Google Free API key. If you are using something else, you can use that LLM as well. Now, this is the text that I am considering. It is a baseline text about Marie Curie. So, as you can see, that it's completely structured, uh, unstructured, and what we would be trying to achieve is something like this, where we wish to extract. Make this unstructured data into structured data, where you can see that I am able to get two nodes. Marie Curie Polish national relationship is nationality, so Marie Curie's nationality is Polish. So here you can see that I am able to convert the unstructured data into structured data, and this can be of great help if you are working into real world problem, if you are working into your job where you have plenty of unstructured data. So let's get started. So first of all. You need to load this text into the document function that we have uh, you, uh, imported from Langchain Core, and then pass it to LLM Graph Transformer. I am also creating an object for LLM Graph Transformer. Now, this is the most important part here, as you can see. Here, you need to mention what nodes are expected and what relationships are expected. So, as you can see for now, I have mentioned two types of nodes. One is the country, another is the person. So, basically, in this particular text. Uh, the LLM would be identifying what are the different persons mentioned, like Marie Curie. Here you can see Pierre Curie is also mentioned, and what are the countries that are mentioned. So here you can see that Polish is one, French can be another, Paris can be another, etc. So it depends upon the quality of the LLM that you are using, how great, how great are the results that we are extracting. The second part is the relationship. So how the relationship between these two entities, or like for example, one person to another person. What are the different possible relationships? So here you can see that I am mentioning nationality, located in, work, dad, spouse, mother, etc. So now, what would the LLM try to achieve? It will try to extract different persons, different countries, and identify how these different persons or different countries or one person to another country are related using these five relationships that I have mentioned, right? So if this such a relationship doesn't mention uh, doesn't exist, it won't be counted in the structured data that we have got. So setting up the relationship tags and nodes is very very important. The next step is quite easy. You need to call out a function for the LM transformer filter that we have created here in the first step object, and then pass the basic documents that we have loaded here. That's it. Now. What I'm next doing, just for your readability purpose, I'm converting this entire graph knowledge graph that I've extracted into a CSV so that you can train your models. So this can be really helpful if you're handling unstructured data and you wish to build out classical machine learning models. So in this case, what I'm doing, I'm calling out the relationship entity of the final graph object created by the LM graph transformer, and then passing the source ID, target ID, and relationship existing edge dot type. So basically, source dot ID is the First node of the relationship, target dot ID is the second node of the relationship, and edge dot type is the relationship between the two. What is the relationship? So here you can see that we have extracted this particular data: Marie Curie, Polish nationality; Marie Curie, French nationality; Marie Curie, University of Paris. Work that. Now here you can see that it is able to make this structured for you. Pierre Curie, Marie Curie, spouse. Now if you change the labels here, you can see that the different text that we have got. Will the different output that we have got will change? So assume that I am going with the default settings. I will remove everything. Assume that you don't know anything about the data. You want the LLM to identify what are the different entities or what are different uh, relationships also existing. So even this will work out for us. So in this case, you can see that it is able to extract a lot many relationships, nodes, and edges uh, without providing the default 
labels for entities and relationship marie curie 1867 born in uh, marie curie twice award count so like this it is able to extract different relationships from the text that you have given if you don't provide the labels for the nodes and the edges so this is how you can create a knowledge graph convert it into a csv and then use it for your training purposes and whatsoever i think uh, what i would be suggesting is first try out without giving a label you can get an essence what the entire data set is all about and then you can mention what are the relationship of your interest number two i think creating a graph a knowledge graph is a very costly task using an llm so be wise when you're using paid apis and do make sure that you first try out the small data set and then go on with your full-fledged data i hope this was helpful thank you so hi everyone my new book land chain in your pocket beginner's guide to building gen a applications using llms is out now on amazon the book is already a bestseller as you can see it is trending on hash 3 on amazon bestsellers so go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below thank you so much